guys, Mark LeBone here. How are you all doing today? Um, got the old new Mark LeBone t-shirts on. Look, there's a nice little one there, and there's a nice big one on the back there. Um, 9 95 if you want one of these, or if you want to buy one good times, you get one free. Right, today's little lesson is another Foo Fighters one. This is a great one. This is Learn to Fly. Another great, great song. Um, it's obviously, when, when they play it, they do sort of a, a bit of a chord sequence, which is not easy when you're doing it on three strings. But, um, so I just basically use the, the, three, the three main chords, um, which you need in this, which are basically, or well, the, the actual verse is, um, and it runs through from the verse to the chorus. It's the last line of the chorus that has a, a, a couple of chords difference. The, the main song is in B, F sharp, and then E. And then on the and that goes all the way through the verse, right the way through to the through the chorus. But the last line of the chorus, then it goes to the G, A, and then back to the B. Um, it's a cracking little song. It's a cracking little song. Don't forget, obviously, your guitar will be tuned to um, open G, which is top string G, middle string D, and the bottom string G. Um, if you want the chord sheets, don't forget to um, go to the link below. Um, you can download them or email me and um, I'll send you them. So um, I'll run through it and then I'll run through a verse on the course, then we'll start breaking it down. So um, I've got me, me Vox Mini 5, um, I've got a little bit of, uh, what have I got on here? Oh, a little bit of chorus and a bit of uh, reverb, that's all. Um, and I'm in the 80s. The 80s setting on here. When I when I do this one, I just I just sort of pink between the 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 strings. When when you do the start. So you can see what I'm doing this little sort of an intro. Um, I say they do it slightly different because they've got six. Obviously they're on six string, plus they've got three guitars for a start. Um, so they're doing slightly, something slightly different. But you know, we're on three strings. This is Cigar Box. This is our version. You know, hopefully you guys like it. Dave? <laughs> sort of the way I do it um, it's it's really really nice it, there is sort of like a um, on the after the second verse and chorus there is a little bit of a middle eight which is um, where they go that like, take me by home and learn to fly take me by home and learn to fly and there goes G come and it goes to a D Long with me again So it, there is a little bit of a difference in in the it's like a middle eighty bit and then it comes back into it. So there is an extra chord there, so it's a D. Um, but basically, you get the gist of the song. So the B is um, played on the now. What I'm yes, what I'm doing is I'm sort of picking. 
I'm sort of picking randomly, there's no sort of set pattern. Um, you could just strum it if you want. Just strum it up and down. So I'm just sort of strumming up and down. Every now and again, just pick a string every now and again. So, okay, the chords. So, the chords are it's the fourth fret all strings, which is the B. The F sharp is the fourth fret, which is the triangle shape. So, it's fourth middle string and it's the sixth top, sixth bottom. And to do the E, you slide them down two frets. So, now still a triangle shape. Now, your second fret, middle, top, fourth. Bottom fourth, and you repeat that all the way through the verse and all the way through the chorus. Uh, apart from the last line of the chorus, is when you go to the G, which is now the triangle shape on the fifth fret, so it's fifth middle, it's seventh top, seventh bottom, and then to the A, which is all strings across on the 2nd fret, back to the B, so that goes Make my way back home, learn to fly Make my way back home, and learn to fly So I'll come to a close up so you can see what I'm actually doing with my fingers there so here we are at a close up, so as I say, it's the B, which is the 4th fret, all strings. The F sharp is the triangle shape, which is the 4th on the middle, and it's the, uh, in the middle there. And it's the 6th on the top, 6th on the bottom. And to do the E, you just literally slide that whole lot down to the 2nd fret, so now you're 2nd, 4th and 4th. Of a stretch, yeah, it's a little bit of a stretch, you've got to get your hands used to it. Um, and the G, of course, is now you're doing the triangle shape now, but now you're on the fifth fret, middle string, seventh top, seventh bottom, and then the A is second fret, all strings. <laughs> so that, that that that's sort of the essentially the chords. Um, and as I say, in the mid late bit where it goes to the um. After the after this is now after the second verse and the second chorus, it goes into the um, the bit where it goes um, uh, along with me. I can't make it alone. So what he does, he, he's doing the he does the the G. Come along with me, and then he does a D. I can't make it alone. So the D for that is. The second fret, top string, second fret, bottom string, middle thing open. And he does that again. La 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 la. And then to the A. Um, and it repeats that twice, and then it goes back into the ver into the chorus. Um, so it's quite nice. It's a lovely song to play, lovely song to play. Love people love this one. <laughs> so that's it, so we'll do it. Up and down strokes. Up and down strokes. Just go to the last, we'll go through it once and then come to the last line so you get that last line from the chorus. It's 
just a lovely little song, just a great little song. Okay, I'm going to sit back down again. See, so it's just a great little song, just a great little song. So I'm saying, if on the, on the, you can either just run up and down. Um, or if you can, um, if you want to do some picking, I just sort of pick randomly. I sort of just pick randomly, you know, with, just with a, if, if you're using a pick. Um, and then sometimes what I do is, <coughs> I, you know, I'll do that, you know, um, and then when I come to the chorus sometimes, I'll just give it a bit more. It's up to you how you want to do it. Um, you know, I just do it. Sometimes I do it just sort of like that all the way through, and then other times I just give it a bit more gaunch. Um, so yeah, it's a great little song. Um, it's a great little song. Learn to fly the Foo Fighters. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a nice one. It's a nice simple one again. Say it's only a few chords. Um, don't forget, it's obviously the, the extra chord when you're in uh, when you do that sort of like mid late bit. Um, Come along with me, I can't make it alone. Um, um, listen to the song if you listen to the Foo Fighters play it and try and play along with it that's the thing you know, that's what we do it's in the key that they play it in so it's no difference in the key um, so that's it from me today a little one for you Foo Fighters um, don't forget if you want to um, uh, get the chord sheets check out the link below or email me um, and don't forget please subscribe press the button here wherever it is and uh, watch a couple of these other videos that um, are out there um, okay, Mark the Bone. See you again soon. Bye for now.